The trilogy of Fallot occurs in about one out of every 5,000 newborns. It affects males and females equally. Tetralogy of flow involves four defects postnatally, a large ventricular septal defect that straddles the overriding aorta, pulmonary artery stenosis, and right ventricular hypertrophy. However, in the fetus, the right ventricular hypertrophy may not be evident. For this reason, the four-chamber view of the fetal heart may appear to be normal. Prenatally, a dilated aorta that straddles a ventricular septal defect is the most common finding. The pulmonary artery may be normal, small, or enlarged, the latter occurring with an absent pulmonary valve. This is the four-chamber view from a fetus with tetralogy of Fallot. Notice that the four-chamber view appears to be normal with no evidence of a ventricular septal defect. While disproportion between the right and left atrial and ventricular chambers is often associated with an outflow tract abnormality, when tetralogy of Fallot is present, the four-chamber view is almost always normal. This is why tetralogy of Fallot is not detected when only the four-chamber view is examined. This is a cine loop of the four-chamber view. Notice there is no evidence of a hypertrophied right ventricular wall or ventricular septal defect. This is the five-chamber view that is obtained in the transverse plane just cephalo to the four-chamber view. Notice that the dilated aorta overrides the ventricular septal defect. In the majority of fetuses with tetralogy of Fallot, one of the first clues that this defect is present is the detection of an enlarged aorta. This is a cine loop demonstrating the dilated aorta overriding the inner ventricular septum where the ventricular septal defect is located. This view is obtained in the transverse plane just cephalo to the four-chamber and five-chamber views previously described. This is the three-vessel view, which demonstrates the small pulmonary artery lying perpendicular to the large aorta seen in cross-section. The superior vena cava is also observed in cross-section adjacent to the aorta. This cine clip illustrates the dilated aorta with a smaller pulmonary artery lying beneath it.